dear students and friends welcome to my session on arduino in 21 days we are on day 19 in today's uh, session we will see the extension of what we have seen yesterday so uh, last class our last session we saw about uh, how we can set the speed here we will see how to vary the speed okay but uh, before taking about the speed as far as stepper motor is concerned the stepper motor is not mainly meant for speed actually it is meant for positioning positioning the motor is very important simultaneously speed is also matters because the work should be faster why i am talking about the speed rather than the position position you know it already uh, in the position uh, here in the program now you see you see if you use uh, in the far loop if you use 200 one rotation now at this particular place i use 50 that means 90 degrees so even if you want uh, one degree right uh, one degree that means uh, uh, 360 by two, 360 degree corresponds to 200 pulse right so 360 divided by 200 equal to 1.8 degree so then you can attain a reach a minimum accuracy of 1.8 degree or multiples of 1.8 degrees okay if you want 18 degrees if you give 10 pulse 10 times in for loop that is sufficient it will run through 18 degrees 18 by 2 uh, 9 if you want 9 degrees 5 pulse right okay but 9 by 5 is 4.5 4.5 Theoretically it is okay, but the practical it is not possible because uh, you can't give uh, 2.5 pulse, you know, so that is a point, okay, because in the far loop this value should be an integer, it can't be a real or float, you got it, okay, we will go back to the speed, now again I am using all the standard thing, uh, only difference here is, uh, previously I used a line following, line follower sensor, but here I use variable resistor. I did not use a line follower sensor to get the signal that means the program will be continuous okay now we go to the program so this is the header file uh, these two are the uh, standard statement for the stepper motor this time I used a variable resistor that is connected with a0 analog input pin and this is about the micro uh, 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 the speed uh, value of uh, uh, in pulses for the stepper motor to rotate and uh, these two values for the analog input okay now we go to this one sensor value it sends the value of the uh, uh, the speed set a0 then it is mapped with uh, one somewhere between 1 to 10 so we have it is been divided from 0 to 1023 divisions to 1 to 10 divisions now i use this mapped value inside this for loop it is a endless loop actually i did not use the input uh, uh, the line follower input so this loop will be continuously this loop this loop will be continuously running again and again and again endlessly endlessly so that is one thing uh, that is another change i made actually right now i'll show you the variable resistor what i showed in the pdf and here is something different you see it's a variable resistor a 10k variable resistor left pin connected to zero right pin connected to uh, 5 volt the mid pin connected to a0 now you see a0 the mid pin connected to a0 so that is a logic that is the logic now again i repeat here i showed something different the variable register variable registers are available at different designs what are the design it has three pins all three are on one side or two are on one side other one is a midpoint is on the mid pin on the other side so different way you are you will get a variable register or uh, uh, we can say variable register or uh, there are different names actually right uh, potentiometer so on and so forth okay we'll come to the program we'll come to the program now uh, this for loop will be running endlessly upon depending upon 
using the screwdriver i will be tilting now this is next uh, left extreme if i increase the volume something like increasing volume like uh, thing i will be turning the this particular knob in clockwise using the screwdriver that means uh, the resistance value will be increasing meaning uh, slowly from 1 it goes to 2 3 4 and maximum is 10 so like that i use this map value inside this for loop that is the only thing i made now you see this in action okay before that we'll uh, let me complete this uh, time so uh, this is the diagram this is the whole setup even though uh, the line follower is there in the circuit but i did not use it i did not assign anything any any io for this line follower so the line follower is a null and void here right now the second point is it is an endless loop the moment i insert the, the I, I powered the setup uh, it will run continuously okay now let i'll show it in action now already uh, smp is powered now i want to power the uh, arduino so for that i am using the laptop power so arduino is on now you see it start rotating now this is rotating at the slowest speed now using the screwdriver i will be turning the variable resistor now you see the rotation you just see the rotation yeah slowly it is picking up slowly the speed is picking up you could see now still i'll be tilting some more so speed will be slightly increasing yeah you speed them i think this is the maximum speed you see the maximum speed right so that is it then let me rotate in the anti-lockwise so a slow speed this is the slowest one value corresponds to one <coughs> the highest is value corresponds to 10 <coughs> so this is how you can uh, set the speed also using the uh, one analog input okay so like that uh, it is you to decide okay uh, for this again i repeat don't you have to concentrate on uh, two things how the how you want uh, the setup physically how you want the setup physically right based on the physical setup and arrive at a logic okay you for that logic you develop the coding so that is the way to develop uh, to write a program and to put everything into action so uh, mere uh, theoretical uh, learning alone uh, will not help you anyway even you have to do some uh, trial and error you have to do some trial and error like uh, instead of putting 50 you uh, put some other value okay i by default value of the microsecond is 8000 instead of 8000 you could put some other value okay so you instead of mapping it to 1 to 10 you can map it to uh, where is the map yeah instead of mapping to 1 in 1 to 10 you can map it to 1 to 3 or 1 to 5 or 1 to 20 right so but sometime it will work sometime it will not work uh, okay so uh, that way you 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 try recompile refuse it uh, reprogram the arduino so thereby you will get to know you will get some physical interpretation physically you will be seeing so you can interpret a new thing or a new learning from uh, by changing some of the values and some of the parameters right so keep you have to keep track on all the parameters all the values the constants and variables then accordingly you see how the uh, how the setup is uh, behaving behave physically practically from that you learn the subject okay so that's all uh, for today's session i hope uh, you learned about how we can vary the speed uh, using a single potentiometer variable resistor okay again this is uh, this file is available this file is available uh, as a link under the description you can download it and you can uh, this program is also available there so you can done uh, you can uh, you can copy and paste it in the uh, Arduino programmer and you can uh, see and you can uh, you can visualize you can see and you can understand okay so subscribe my channel 
uh, and inform this to other students and friends so then they'll also get some input uh, about the Arduino. Thank you.